Welcome to another tip of the week and today I'm going to talk about CodePen, the free account and pictures. So let's go. So CodePen on the free account, you can't upload files. So linking pictures is a problem because the picture has already, the photo, the image needs to already be hosted somewhere online. So here's what you're going to do. So if you see here, I have three pictures three images here and I have my image tag, tag and in the source I have this link here that has been not the relative path but the entire path from HTTPS and all of this because all these three images are hosted online. Now the easiest one is this one here that is hosted on Pixabay. So what I did was let's say I'm creating a web uh, code pen project and I need the images. I don't already have those images. And so I go in the image bank and look for them. So I came here on Pixabay and I looked for this picture. And what I did was I right clicked and I copy image location. And that that's this link here that I copied here in this source image. So that's the easiest one because the image is already being hosted by Pixabay. That's the easiest way for you to create uh, a pen with images and something like that. But let's say you want to create a pen with specific images, maybe an image of yourself, like here I have a, my image. How can I go around the fact that I have to host these images somewhere? Do I need to pay for a hosting services? Not necessarily. With Dropbox and OneDrive, with Google Drive this doesn't work, but with Dropbox and OneDrive you can do a workaround for this. What you do is you host you place your picture, your photo on Dropbox or on OneDrive. So here I have my picture here on Dropbox and here I have another one on OneDrive. So here, this one is on Dropbox, this one is on OneDrive. I have this in a file that I separated just for the pictures. First, I need to share my picture at the share the link of the picture. So I right click and I come here either in share or copy Dropbox link for Dropbox. On OneDrive, I come here and share, and then they have the option to copy the link. And I copy the link. And you see here that I have both my links open. Here is the Dropbox link, and here is the OneDrive link. Do I copy that link to my source in my image tag? No. I come here in the picture, and I, I once again right click, and once again copy image location, or else I'm copying kind of the folder instead of the image. But if I copy the image location both on OneDrive or here on Dropbox, I can I get this link, these links here. And these links, they work, this path here, this works. And why do I have to share first? Why can't I just go on my OneDrive uh, online and on my Dropbox online and do that directly on my folder, check out the image directly like this? Because first I need to give permission for the file to be shown or else the file is protected and Dropbox and OneDrive isn't going to show that file. This link here is super complicated, already has that permission in the middle of the link. I can't tell you where the permission is because it's part of their encryption, but the permission is here. So this will allow you to see these two. And what's great about this is that I, I don't have, to, especially if I'm a student that's just trying to learn to code, I don't have to pay for the hosting uh, because Dropbox has a two gigabyte free account and OneDrive usually comes with Office, especially if you have the Office subscription instead of a one-time Office download. So this way you might already have them. This does not work with Google Drive. I already tried this does not work with Google Drive. But this is a nice workaround and I found that this can help you if you're a student. If you're a professional and you're trying to show your portfolio or stuff like that, uh, I recommend you buy the Pro account. But if you're a student, this is a nice workaround. I hope you enjoyed and see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my courses.